Hello friends and welcome to a new playthrough that I'm really excited about doing. Uh, ever since I finished V Rising I've been like, oh no, what do I play next? And I had an idea in mind and then I was checking Steam today and Shadows of Loathing had come out. So I had played the Best of Loathing a little bit, uh, but I'm excited to play this because I think these games are kind of hilarious and you can't actually see anything interesting in that direction. Actually, you can't see anything at all with this magazine stuck to your face. And also, my wrist hurts, so I wanted to play something that didn't require too much mouse movement. So I was like, this is perfect. Oh, oh can I go this way? You hear the sounds of a diner behind you. Maybe someone there can help you with your little magazine on the face problem. Or I could give up. It was to me and menu. Alright, let's go into the dino. This smells like a diner, and it smells like the open. Hopefully they don't have a no shirt, no shoes, magazine stuck to your face, no service sign posted. Go inside. The Nightingale Dino. As I struggle with the magazine on my face. You shouldn't bother anyone until you get this magazine off your face. I'm not talking to you until you wipe that look off your face. Vic. The copy of Look Magazine that stuck to your face. Bathroom's in the back. She points over to the right, as far as you know. Thanks. You can feel a little sign here, but can't see what it says. Probably instructions for what to do in case of magazine-related emergencies. It's the bathroom, probably? Go inside. You blunder your way into the bathroom and eventually find the sink. After fumbling with the faucet for a while, you manage to disentangle yourself from the magazine. You stare into the mirror, revealing, yes, my face. Which face shall we go with? Uh, I like that one with the little Princess Leia sort of braids. There you are. Leave the bathroom. Try coffee. You'll like it eventually. Ooh, they've got one of those new meat-operated multi-selection photographs, or jukeboxes as the kids call them. Meat! Hey, there's something in the coin return. Grab it. You gain one meat. Nice. A couple of older folks are having an animated discussion. Well, one of them is, isn't it? Hmph. The way these young women act these days with their short hair and their sassy talk and their dresses that don't even cover their, their ankles? It's scandalous. And those dances they do flailing around like I don't know what. I thought... I'd have thought Prohibition would have put the kibosh on that sort of tomfoolery, but no sir. Can't imagine dancing a waltz to the music they're playing nowadays, though. And that's the problem right there. This newfangled jazz music with all the drums and clarinets and such. What kind of word is that anyway? Jazz. I think our cups got switched. You're supposed to be drinking decaf. Leave. These two are still ranting about the problem with kids these days. Well, one of them is. Some petty vandal has scratched the name Dan Bob onto the surface of this table. A couple of young women are chatting breezily over coffee. Talk to them. Hey kitten, what town is this? I don't know how to say this, but I think it's Parkeepsky? Are you two traveling? Yeah, Urshan City is turning into a real sawmill, so we boosted her jelly beans breezer for a weekend well to the hot potato. Oh, Bushwa, you make it sound like we went south with it. I flew him a kite. Everything's Jake. Jeez, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure I'm only three or four years older than you two, but I barely understand what you're saying. What are you, a cancelled stamp? Go with some pepper in your shoes. Uh, yeah, I'll try that. The sign says, meat only, no credit. The man is concentrating very hard on his coffee. Talk to him. Hey there, is there something particularly interesting about that coffee? It's my first one. Of the day? No, it's my first coffee ever. Oh, what do you think? I think it's a bad beverage. It's bitter and makes my stomach hurt. Ah, uh, well, it's not for everyone, I suppose. Yeah, I think I'll have another one after this, though. And then maybe every morning for the rest of my life. Well, enjoy. This case contains three pies, which is exactly three pies more than you can afford. Oh, I want a pie. Well now, that looks much better. An Ethel. I'm Caroline. Caroline who? Caroline... Barnes? Caroline Turner? Caroline Turner. Pleased to meet you, Caroline Turner. What can I get you? Can I get a cup of coffee? You sure can. Best cup of coffee in the state, if I may say so myself. That'll be one meat. Great. To go, please. One meat. Ethel pours you a steaming hot cup of fresh black java. You get, got an item diner coffee. You spent one meat. Anything else, hon? Does the bus to Ocean City pick up here? Sure does. Should be here any minute. Good thing, too. I hear we're in for rain tonight. What takes you to Ocean City? My uncle lives there. I got a letter from him. He wants me to help him with something. That's a reason, hon. But it's someone else's reason. What's your reason? Ethel looks eyes with you. I, uh... Hmm... 
Do I want to get in some trouble? Do I want to help? I'm searching for something. I see. Do you know what it is you're looking for? Something dark. You got a perk. Wanted. What do you mean by that? There's something in my dreams. A kind of darkness, but it's moving. I have to find out what it is. Some of the color drains from Ethel's cheeks. Smile and leave. On her, I'm going to stare at her for a while and then leave. I'm going to be like a creepy goth lady. Let's down spawn. Oh, nothing just now. All right. I think I have to skedaddle. Ethel said the bus will be here any minute. But before I do that, can I look at my character sheet? Uh-huh. Basic humanity. You are a minimum viable person. You occupy space and are capable of moving through it and perceiving things. That's good. Haunted. A darkness haunts you and you can't rest until you learn its name. Don't worry, it will find you soon enough. It's not ominous at all. And what do we have in our inventory? Wyatt the Wren, familiar. When you were four years old, Wyatt flew in your bedroom window and refused to leave. He's been with you as a familiar ever since. That's pretty cool. I like that. I have a luggage, which I can't unpack in the diner, I don't think, because it's... Yeah, unpacking in a diner seems like a bad idea. Also, I have a portable carpet steamer. A paper cup of fresh black coffee. It smells better than any coffee you've ever had on this trip. Well, I may as well drink it while it's still warm. Good grief, this coffee smells good. You can't bring yourself to drink it because you might really need some coffee <laughs> later. Alright, I'll drink it later when it's cold and sad. I'm going to go out and wait for the bus. Oh, it's raining. How spooky and gothic and atmospheric. Can I move on the bus? Oh, no. You pull out the letter you got from Uncle Murray and read it again. Murray Morris... Uh, care of Mario's Antiques, 111 Plunkett Street, Ocean City. Dear Caroline, Ocean City is not a fun combination of words to say with the list. I'm so sorry. Dear Caroline, I hope this letter finds you well, and I hope it finds you quickly. Something quite serious has happened, and I need the help of your adventuresome spirit. Come to my shop in Ocean City as soon as you're able, please. Your uncle, Mari. Put the letter away. That person looks like a clown. <laughs> You're just about to go mad from the monotony of this ride when the bus suddenly judders to a stop. You look out the window, expecting to see the sights and sounds of Ocean City, but instead you see an endless expanse of extremely wet trees. Uh oh. The outskirts of Ocean City. Alright, let's see what he has to say. I have to walk. Well, this box lacks in comfort. It makes up for in unreliability. It's the bus driver. Talk to him. What's going on? This doesn't look like Ocean City. Nope, sorry about this, but we're out of gas. Oh, jeez. You didn't fill up before we left? I filled up the bus, but this trick takes exactly one full tank of gas. He hands you an empty gas can. You got an item, an empty gas can. Plus one additional can. Slow. Why do I have to go get it? Well, I grew myself, set for two reasons. Here's being... Firstly, being as I'm the bus driver, I'm legally responsible for this bus, and I gotta keep an eye on it. And secondly, because of my leg. What's wrong with your leg? It's attached to a fellow that doesn't want to go wandering around in the rain at night. <sighs> well, alright then. Guess I haven't got much choice. Can I borrow your umbrella at least? This is a left-handed umbrella. I am left-handed, as it happens. But you aren't registered to my umbrella insurance. Nuts. Sorry about that. Here, I do have a flashlight you can use there. Good luck. Thanks. Okay, I can't go in the bus. Drink red cola. Protect your family. An old billboard from before the war. Oh uh, yeah, I think this is set in like 1920s uh, prohibition. This gas pump is empty. This, this pump is full of water instead of gas. There's a little bit of gas left in this pump, but there's no hers on it. Seems like just yesterday that gas only cost 6 and 15 64ths me to gallon. Sigh, those are the days. Alright. Can I steal the pump? Hi, uh, Pipe? This station seems to have run out of service. Can I go in? Oh, I can go in. Fill in station. There's one object left on the snacks shelf. Take it. You got an item. Cheese loaf. Ew. No one in their right mind would consider this vile substance a snack. Mm. Either they're out of purse cards or all the scenery around here is invisible. It's weird that the cash register is pointed towards the front of the store. 
Loot it. It's mostly empty, but you find some loose change. Gain seven meat. Yay. There's an old baseball bat leaning against the wall here. I'll grab it. Why not? Empty oil cans, a whole pyramid of them. The sign says employees only. Are you an employee? Yes. Really? You never w mentioned working in a gas station. No, I'm just kidding. Well, since this place is out of business, it probably wouldn't hurt anything for you to go back there, I guess. Thank you. If a broken radio can still be considered nice, this is a pretty nice radio. A desk, presumably optimized for doing gasoline-related business. Such it. Four of the drawers contain nothing but old receipts and pencil stubs. This one is locked. Locked, you say? I like that there's actually five drawers on there. Alright, what's in here? This shelf smells like axle grease and old paint, probably because that's what's in it. The shelf is laden with miscellaneous electrical widgets and doodads. You don't have any use for any of them, though. This old shelf is full of old personnel files. Each object that you examine on the shelf is dirtier and more boring than the one you looked at before. Wait, there's another door. Filling station garage. Stand clear of lift before operating, Steve. Looks like this is the control for that car lift thing. Press it. Nothing happens. It must not have power. It's some kind of weird machine. I don't have enough mysticality to figure it out. Alright, what's about this? It's a big tool chest, but all of the good tools have already been stolen. A fuse box. Hmm. Open it. As advertised, this is a box containing one fuse. However, the fuse is broken, which is probably not intended. You should keep an eye out for a replacement. Must be one around here somewhere. Must be one around here somewhere, you say. That old sliver looks promising as a source of gas, but you can't reach it while it's up on the lift. A puzzle, you say. Maybe now. Aha. Look for a fuse. You dig through the boxes and find a single unblown fuse. Alright, let's try this again. Uh, replace it. Click. Done. Alright. Yay. You really want to know the story behind this sign. Same. This, the car is missing the gas tank, but there is a big glass of gasoline in its cup holder. Pour it in your can. You got an item. One third full gas can. There's nothing else of interest in the car. There's also no interest for a year if you'd like to buy it. I would not. Teach yourself. Hmm. I want to I wanna know what this is, but I don't have any mysticality. Can I get mysticality? I don't have any experience. Alright, well, that's fine. I don't think there's anything else I can do in here because I don't have the key. Can I look for a key? No, I guess not. Hmm. I don't think a third of a gas can is gonna be enough for me. So, Finnegan's optional boxing gym. You don't have to fight if you don't want to. Hello, who are you? A miserable looking hitchhiker is standing in the rain, listlessly sticking out her thumb. Talk to her. Hi there. Her head turns very slowly to face you and her eyes don't quite meet yours. Can you give me a lift? I need to get to Albany. Sorry, I'm going the other way. Uh, also, I don't have a car. Oh. What's your name? I'm Caroline. Lydia. Nice to meet you, Lydia. Although I admit the circumstances aren't great. Mm. So what's in Albany? Do you have family there? No, I just want to go somewhere new. Albany isn't new there. It's one of the oldest cities in the country. Haha. <laughs> Okay, that's fair. Do you know where I can get some gas? Gas? The bus I was on ran out, and the driver sent me to find some more. Bus? Yeah, I'm trying to get to Ocean City. I haven't been there. Well, okay then. How about this rain, huh? Lydia looks very slightly surprised and glances around slowly. Oh, it's raining. Yeah, it sure is. What a night to be stuck out on the road, right? I hadn't noticed. I get the feeling you aren't much of a noticer. Well, anyway. Seen any good movies lately? I saw Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde at the Nickelodeon. Oh, that's a classic. What did you think? It was very scary. I liked it. I prefer comedies myself. Have you seen the new Buster Keaton one? The cameraman? I don't know who that is. Oh, he's great. You have to see Sherlock Jr. That's my favorite. Really terrific. Um, read any good books lately? I read The Invisible Man. It was really good. Oh yeah, H.G. Wells is great. Have you read his new one? The War in the Air? I didn't care for it. The one I'm thinking of is Mr. Something on Something Island. I forgot the name, but it was terrible. His early works are the best, like the time machine. Yeah, I love that one. I'm glad we were able to find something we could connect on, Lydia. So, um... 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 
Can I just keep cycling this? Because I will keep cycling it. Okay, bye, good luck. This field is extremely corny. Hey, uh, I don't I want to be unfriendly, but this is private residence that y'all just budged into. Oh, geez, sorry. Everything's so desolate outside. I guess I just assumed this place was abandoned. Well, come morning, you'll be right. So you may want to get in out of the rain for a spell. Thanks. My name is Caroline Turner. Howdy, Caroline. I'm Elias. Elias Chekhov. Make yourself at home. Chekhov, you say. Does that mean you have a gun? Of course you have a gun. Elias is looking around and mumbling to himself as he checks off his mental to-do list. So, you're moving out? Uh, yep, I finished packing, so now I'm just waiting for the movers to come and take this last sort of stuff. You got movers coming in the middle of the night? No, in the morning. But I went and packed my teddy bear and I forgot what box he's in. Can't sleep. I see. Why are you leaving? Well, my daughter went off to college, so there's nothing keeping me here. I never particularly cared for farming anyhow. I just kind of fell into it, you know? So I reckon I'd take the opportunity to retire and travel a bit. See what kind of trouble I can get up to. Heh. <laughs> nice. So it's your story. What are you doing out on a night like this? I got a letter... For my uncle Murray, it sounded urgent, so I hopped a bus to Ocean City. I ain't sure how to tell you this, but you got a ways to go yet. Yeah, the bus ran out of gas, so the driver sent me to scavenge for some more. I gotcha. Well, I think there's an old gas can in the barn out back. You're welcome to it. Thanks. I gotta warn you, though, you'll have to fight my daughter for it. What? Well, technically, I should say, my daughter's monsters. What? It's a thing my daughter Simone built. What? See, my kid's a real technical whiz. She built an auto ominous rubber attraption to help with plowing and harvesting and the like. Worked real nice, too. Wow. Problem is, after she left, it blew a what's it tube and got violent. I'm pretty good with machinery, but when it comes to these newfangled electrics, I might as well be a dog trying to read Plato. So I looked it in the barn. Aha, I see. You're welcome to try your hand against it if you've got a mind to, but please be careful. It's got a lot of sharp bits on it. Here's the key. Thanks. Can I borrow a gun? There's a weird device on top of this box. Ask Goliath about it. That's a funny looking thing. That's a duck call. What's it for? It's for calling ducks. Oh, fun! Used to be. D don't work anymore on account of being haunted. Haunted? Yeah, well, not haunted exactly. A bunch of spiders got in there, and now it sounds all scary when you blow it. I see. If you want it, it's yours. You gingerly take the duck call, trying very hard not to think about spiders. What spiders? Good job. I don't like spiders. Anything in the box? Well, these boxes are labeled bears. Ask about them. Oh, are these boxes really full of bears? Is your teddy in one of those? No, nah, those boxes are all canned pears. I had a little fun writing the labels as all. Well. You want a can? I got one left that didn't fit. You got an item. Bibson's Extra Street Sweet Pears. Scan a pears. Increases my mysticality by one until I eat something else. Gee, thanks. That's pretty cool. What about gears? Simone left those behind when she went off to school. Figured I should keep them for her. That makes sense. There's a rifle. Are you leaving this rifle behind? Yup. How come? Well, it's a vomit rifle, and where I'm going there ain't any vomits. There's vomit, to be sure, and critters and such like that, but the Alamanac didn't list any examples of a vomit qua vomit, if you know what I mean. I do know what you mean. No need to fret over it right now in any case. That gun is for later. Later? Uh, yep, much later. Huh. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's a good jerk. I like Chef Cobb gun jerks. These boxes labeled tears. Wait, are these boxes of tears or tears? Don't be ridiculous. You can't put neither one of them in boxes. That don't make any kind of sense. Mm, got a point. Kitchen's ink, brand new sink, a collection of stains, make its home, home on the range. Sheds. What's in here? Stocks? Scissors. Class rings. This is a very large box considering that most people own either zero or one class ring. Ask about it. Is this box really full, really full of class rings? Yep, about 140 of them. Did you go to college 140 times? Hi. Nah, of course not. I just collect them as all. Well. Why? Well, they're rare, but not really very rare. They're all different in an interesting way, and they're shiny. That there's a collection trifecta. Huh, well, okay then. This door is locked with some kind of elaborate electric lock. Ask about it. What's with this door? Oh, that's Simone's room. Hopefully she ain't left anything important in there, because I plum forgot how to work that crazy lock she invented. I see. Can I use the bathroom? Sure, how'd you know that door was a bathroom there? We always had a knack for knowing which doors lead to bathrooms as well. Well, good for you, I guess. Head in. You can see your face in Elias' mirror, just like your own mirror back home. Gaze into it. Hi, Caroline. Smile. Hey there, good looking. Frown. Oh, what's wrong? Scout. Why, what a... 
Oh, no, 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 boy. Cringe. You remember something really embarrassing you did a couple years ago? Ugh. Freak out. Close your eyes. I'll just assume this looks good. Get back to normal. Ah, there you are. Leave. This is a surprisingly modern toilet for such an old house. Flush it. You flush Chekhov's toilet, hoping it won't come back to haunt you later. You gain five experience. Hmm. Sorry, I needed a drink from all of that, uh, all that reading. A vicious clawfoot bathtub. Alright, well, what's this? This door looks like it hasn't been used in a while. Ask where it leads. Why does this door lead, I ask you? Spare bedroom, ain't been used in forever. I don't even bother opening the door since that dust devil got in there. Feel free to help yourself. The old not have found much of use. A dust devil? Yeah, those critters are a new, real nuisance around here. They're attracted to beds that ain't been cleaned under properly, and since I left my broom back in 26, it's been a real, what does Simone call it? A nutrient-rich environment. Ornery little beasts. Real territorial. Alright, hey, I'll be careful. Do I even have a weapon? <laughs> I don't think I have a weapon. I do have a- oh, I do have a weapon. Alright, hang on. A classic dirt water slugger. With this, you can either take somebody out to the ball game or just take them out. I'm pretty sure this duck call is haunted, but you can't remember the story of how it got that way. It's pretty interesting. Alright. Mm. I shouldn't unpack my bags. When can I unpack my luggage? I guess when I get to the city. A tasteful arrangement of dried fronds. It's a shelf full of pulp westerns. Take a look at one. Gunfight at Cow Ranch. The gunfight at Cow Mountain. The Rubbers of the Night. Jewel at Six Gun Mountain. Hey, this one looks like it's worth a read. The Handgun's Tale. Cattle Woman of the West. I like the twirly torch. Betrayal at Horse Thief Trail. The Rubbers of Revenge. The Horses of Revenge. The Cattle Woman of the West. Horses of Darkness. Reckoning at Dry Arara. Rustles of the Night. Shadow at Bloody Arroyo. I think this is just gonna... Yeah, I think it's just looping. Alright, fine. Does the old nightstand. Touch it. Ooh, ten meat. Anything for the window? Alright, the dust devil is really kicking up some dickens under there. Drag it out. Are you sure? Check out so these things are pretty dangerous. Yeah, I'm sure. Ah! That is pretty dangerous. That is pretty dangerous. If I die, I'll be very upset. One physical damage or two physical damage. I'm gonna die. And my bird flew away. We should have listened to Chekhov, I guess so. Well, I came back to life. I have all my stuff. That's pretty good. A handgun's tale book. Unlike most old westerns, this one is written from the perspective of a gun. Oh, I don't have any mysticality. Alright. Nothing else in there? Alright. Hey Elias, what can I do for you? Eh, never mind. Alright, well... I got randomly defeated by the Dust Devil, but at least I didn't, like, die for real, you know? You have to be impenetrably dense to wander into these woods. Oh wait, I see. What's over here? Gun? There's nothing on the clothesline except a pair of socks and an old gun. Loot it. You take the gun and leave the socks. They don't look safe. The scarecrow is a bit more intimidating than usual. The clerics must here must be real aggressive. Show it you ain't scared. I'm gonna throw a rock. It intends to shoot me for five physical damage. Okay, what if I honk at it? And then I whack it. Yeah, I miss 
practicality went up. Alright, I'm gonna throw a rock. And then I'm gonna thwack it. I don't know if I'm gonna win this battle. Ow. If I throw another rock. And then if I whack it, I might win. Yay! Now it's just a regular scacker with a gun. Excellent. This thing's crew menacing days at Urvo. Can I steal the gun? It's an old tractor. There's an old rag shoved in where the gas cap could be. Pull the rag out. You pull out the rag and sniff the tank. It smells like there's little gas left in there. Collect it. You dip the rag into the gas tank, suck up all the gas, and bring it out into your can. Two thugs full. That tractor is the right most interesting thing in this part of the county. Alright. Well, I have to go into the barn now, but I'm worried about the monster. You spend all that time cleaning your gate gun and the rain comes along and ruins it. Typical. Let's do this one. Alright. Well. Can I see, like, where my HP is? I guess not. Alright, let's go in. Leave the doors open and leave the key in the lock in case Elias wants to lock up again later. Let's consider it. Inside the barn. This is a nice barrel, but it'd be nicer if it had anything in it. Uh, do you have a reoccurring nightmare about searching for something in one of these? A warding trough for some long gone, gone livestock. I can read, I swear. This is just a painting of a bunch of tools. This must be the farmer's daughter's fishing rod. Take it. She won't miss it, you assume. The cabinet is rusted shut. And I don't have any muscle. I don't have anything. Based on the arrangement of objects around it, you can conclude that this is a machine for turning hay bales into loose hay. Alright. Bale for a pile of hay. You're not going to get past that thing without destroying it. Destroy it, then. My HP is... Oh, no, it is full. Okay. Oh, jeeps. It's only got four HP. Okay. If I throw the rock. And then if I shoot it. Yay, I win. That was a lot easier. And now I can learn an item. So my monster is just now a pile of parts on the floor. Less than parts. I can't search any- You'd go up there if it wasn't for your hay fever. And what was the other one? And you're falling out of the last fever. You went through a lot to gain access to this can. Accept your reward. Victory is sweet. It's probably the lead that makes it sweet. Oh, gas can. Well... Do I want mysticality? Oh, Moxie. Got guns or oh, ghosts, I feel like. If I do get the Moxie, I can loot the table behind me. And I'm not going to be able to get three. Oh, no, actually, I, if I got muscle and then ate the food, I'd be able to go through the thing. Oh, no choices. All right, I'm going to go with Moxie because I want to be cool. Yes. So, you know you're not supposed to wear plaid and stripes at the same time, but you're so cool that you can get away with it anyway. It actually helps you look cool, move with grace and style, and deal damage with ranged weapons, guns, and musical instruments. Alright, cool. Now I can search it. It's mostly tools you don't understand, but you do find some gloves. Ooh. Keep pressing the wrong one. What armor? Does that mean I can fight the devil now? Hmm. It's a shame I can't go in there. So. I see, yeah. Even if I, like, ate. Not that one. Not that one. Well, I guess I can't eat anything. Alright. Get stronger. Let's go. Hey Elias, tell him about the Skeker. I uh, had to beat up the Skeker, sorry. Well, I was leaving it behind anyhow, but why'd you go and do a thing like that for? It shot at me with a gun. Oh, right. Yeah, that's perf perfectly reasonable then. 
Never mind. All right. Well, let's see. I mean, just out of curiosity, I want to see if I can kill it now. Yeah, I'm sure. I got hot armor now. Oh, yeah, the bleeding. Yeah, the bleeding. Right, uh... I'm gonna throw a rock at it. And then I'm gonna shoot it. Uh... Alright, well... <laughs> he sings a sad song and flies away. Should have left him to check off. <sighs> Stupid dust devil. I'll come back for it. Alright, well, I guess that's everything. There's a turtle! Turtle is stuck on its back. Why aren't you helping it? I am! I'm helping it! There you go, buddy. Enjoy blue cola, the honorable choice. Bye, turtle! Oh, I wonder where. Like, did it just vanish? Or is it gonna come out the other side? Hmm. I guess it just vanishes behind the house. Can I keep going this way? Oh, that looks suspicious. You heard a lot of nice things about Tupeka, Tupeka, but not 1,200 miles worth of nice things. Looks like someone drove this boxcar out here and then took the truck away. Boy, someone must have hated this boxcar. An open fire and enclosed space. Classic. Hey, there's something in there. Reach in and grab it. This is not the intended use of those gloves, you know. You've got an item crowbar. I wonder if I can open the thing in the back of the, the barn now. Wait. A cheerful looking hobo toodles idly on a harmonica. Interrupt his toodling. Hi there, I'm Caroline. Oh, howdy there, neighbor. I'm Howie. Pleased to meet you. I'm not actually from around here, though. Well, the way I see it, this whole country is my home, so everybody is my neighbor. Oh, that's nice. Either that or they're all trespassers, you better get off of my property. Haha, <laughs> I'm just joshing your friend. Kept some jockey? What kind? Clam, it's a local delicacy. Oh. Sure, I'll have some jockey. You got an item, clam jockey. There you are. Can't buy this stuff myself. Like eating a dried slug, but saltier. Come to think of it, that's exactly what it is. You're really selling me on this local delicacy. If you ask me, the locals are a bit weird. Okay. Where are you from? Originally, I'm from Hawaii, but I got bored of gorgeous tropical beaches and decided to hit the rails. You rode the rails from Hawaii? Hehe, <laughs> yep. Real challenging trip for a first time hobo, but I made it through alright. You ever think of going back? The only. They only got the one track there, so it was a one-way trip. I might head back for a visit once they build a second one there. Oh. Do you live here? Not permanent like, but I've been ca camped out here a few days. All alone? Well, it used to be a bit livelier, but the bosses sent a railroad bull to run everyone off. Railroad bull? You mean like a cop? Yeah, you could say that. I think he's still prowling around out back if you care to test your metal. I don't advise it though. Is he packing heat? No, he's unarmed. But one of your arms might take a make a pretty good club once he gets it off of you. Hmm. Any plans for the future? Well, what on the wall is that there's camp forming in Ocean City. I figure I'll mosey on over there once this rain lets up. What on the wall? I never heard that phrase. Is it like through the grapevine? Heh. <laughs> similar, similar. I see. Take your leave. Howie's knapsack. I'll ask him about it. Is this knapsack your only luggage? Oh, that ain't mine. That's been here since before I arrived myself. Nobody used to be able to work out how to open the dang thing. If you can figure out the trick, you're welcome to it. Inspect the bag. It appears to be latched up with one of those puzzles made of bent nails and steel wire. Howie wasn't just harmonizing Dixie. Leave it alone for now. But if I eat the cheese loaf, a box of cheese loaf brand pasteurized spreadable cheese food product. Modern technology has done some extremely revolting things. Eat. Begin an effect. Improve loafing. Cast by an absence of crackers, you eat the cheese loaf with your bare hands. In the end, you are unclean both inside and out. Bleh. But open watch. Ha! There isn't a puzzle you can't solve, except maybe they'll pop a little harder than this one. Unfortunately, the bag is pretty much just full of trash. You do find a small key in the bottom there. I wonder if that's for the gas station. Hang on, let me just... There's a partially full gas can nestled in the pile of garbage. You pour the gas into your own can, then hide the empty can behind some of the garbage. 133% full gas can. There's something shiny in this pile. It's an old class ring. I can give that to the farmer. Alright, this is this is very productive. This door is extremely heavy. Force it open. Well... Do I have anything that'll give me some strength? 
Mm, that's mysticality. <laughs> hmm. The Tarnished Class Ring from the Sea Tight Institute of Technology, adorned with a blue jewel supported by a pair of tiny cloth badges, makes everyone think you attended SIT or mug someone who did. That's good. I like that. But I guess I can't get in there because I don't have two strength. I thought I had a strength food, but I guess I don't. But if I go check the desk in the gas station, wait. There's a weird clock where Lydia was standing. Read it. Historic site. At this exact spot on the 13th of October 1908, the state's first mass-produced automobile... Auto automobile? A Ford Model T purchased by Hiram or Crellins accidentally struck and killed the state's first hitchhiker, Lydia Barnsley. So apparently that woman you talked to a few minutes ago has been dead for exactly 20 years. Good. Swell. Everything about this is great and you aren't regretting this trip before you're being override. Go on about your normal non-haunted day. Definitely normal and non-haunted. Now, let's go check. Search it. Unlock it with my little silver key. The fifth drawer contains a hose with a nozzle on it. That's way less boring than you expected. Gas pump hose. The little silver key falls into a hole and the floor disappears. Alright. Well. Let's go the hose you found. Pump some gas. We got an item, 166% full gas gallon. I mean, you'd hope that will be enough, but I'm also going to go see if I need to take it off. But, well, maybe I, maybe I don't need to take it off. I'll see. Tell them about the ring you found. I found this old class ring. You hand it to him and he looks it over. Hey, a 17 SAT ring. I've got one of these in faux emeralds, but not a faux sapphire one like this. These are the ones they gave to the junior varsity... Pig skinners had a little enchantment on them so the kids wouldn't get so quite so many concussions, probably worn off by now. Is it worth anything? No, not to a jeweler or a pawnbroker or anything like that. Eight carat gold on the stones made of glass. The collector give you 30 meat for it, such as myself, if you're interested in selling it. Actually, you can just have it. Well, thank you. That's right, generous. He admires it a bit more than slips it into the pocket of his overalls. I mention it. Probably should have taken the 30 meat. Yeah, I probably should have taken the funny meat. Oh wait, I do have- I have the clam jerky! Alright. Never mind. Alright. Well, hang on. I knew I had something that gave me strength. I don't think I need any moxie for anything else. So, it should be fine if we eat this. It's always nice to get a gift from a kindly stranger, but it's especially nice when that gift is dried flesh. Yes. You gnaw on the jerky until the gnawing is done. Slightly clammier. The soloing too. Alright. Close it open. Can I go in now? There you go. Harry Road Camp in the outskirts. There's a carving on the trunk of this tree. It says how he loves playing the harmonica. Aww. Somebody has placed a sheet of filthy linoleum on the ground here in an effort to lend legitimacy to this outdoor kitchen. The stew in this pot is beyond help, but you could probably salvage the ladle. Do so. Hey, this isn't a ladle, it's a spatula. No wonder the stew's so messed up. You got an item, grimy spatula. It's one of those newfangled indoor-outdoor refrigerators. Open it. Somebody left a perfectly good mason jar full of gasoline in here. Take it. 200% full gas. Thing. That's good. You were hoping for an outdoor dining room, but there's just lives in that direction. Well. Oh, he's very cranky. Uh-oh, that's that railroad bull Howie, Howie told you about. Although, railroad minotaur would probably be more accurate. Take the bull by the horns. Halt, trespasser. Alright, well, where's my masker? Should I do... Yeah, let's honk at it. Okay, now it won't hit me as hard. Oh no. That hurt. I don't know if I can kill this. But we'll give it a shot. 
two physical damage, and then we'll shoot it. Okay, we might make it. Ooh. Well, I'm gonna throw the rock. No need to waste bullets. I gain five experience. Why the Ranger is stronger? One maximum HP. Excellent. Excellent. A 1911 Ford milk crate for wheels. That model never really seems to take off. Oh, look, it has a gas can on it. Help yourself. You add to the gas to your can because you can. 233% full gas can. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Anything in that direction is trees, and they're not interesting trees. Alright, well, surely we have enough now. And I don't think, unfortunately, that I can do anything else. Although, I wonder if the crowbar would help us with that. I think it's in here? In the barn? Yeah, I don't have the muscle. I was I thought that like maybe if I had the crowbar it would help, but mm. Oh Do you think I can kill the the goblin this time? One more time. Okay, well, you know what? I deserve that. I will- I will leave it alone. <laughs> I just wanted to see if I could kill it before we skedaddle. But I guess not. Oh, it's my turtle! Hmm, this turtle seems to be heading to Ocean City too. At this rate, it might beat you there. I'll take it with you. What do I want to name the turtle? Tart the turtle. Hmm. I didn't know I'd have to name something. Alright, we'll call it Shelly. Shelly the turtle. Okay, Shelly it is. You got an item, Shelly the turtle. Can I keep? Yeah, okay. The bus driver. Hey there, friend. Any luck with the gas? Show the driver your gas can. Well, here's gas can. Well, huh. This can doesn't usually hold that much gas. Not sure how I did that. Well, whatever. Hey, you ready to hit the road? Yeah, let's get out of here. He takes a can and empties it into the bus's tank. And with that, we're on our way. All aboard. We're back on the bus. You climb back on the bus and return to your seat, and soon you're dozing off to the sound of rain splattering on the window beside you. Unfortunately, it's barely an approximation of sleep, the sort of sleep that you slip into so gradually that you don't even know you're asleep until something wakes you up. Blanket Street. And you realize your meandering through parts of the past few minutes have been utterly strange, shadowy tendrils of whispering ideas. Hey kid, this is a stop, right? Then I'm now totally forgotten. Ugh. You know what? Well, the show is going to show. Thanks for traveling, Willis Busker. Disembark. Army supper store. Wait, wait, can I go through the trash? Ooh, cheap balloon. I know I should go into my house, but. Weird symbols in the sidewalk. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Secure bird. Alright, this is good. I like this. We've got a lot to explore, but. Probably later. I just want to see if I can steal some more trash. Ooh, Hobo. This Hobo seems wholly unperturbed by the rain. Talk to him. As well as we're having, he smiles, looks up, and lets the rain splash on his face for a while. Heh, <laughs> suits me just fine, I guess. A wise man once said, the rain falls on poor men and rich men alike. Was that before umbrellas were invented, or...? My name's Gus, by the way. Hi, I'm Caroline. Pleased to meet you, Caroline. Say, you wouldn't have a couple of meat to spare, would you? Sure. You flip for Gus some meat and he beams. Thanks very much, Caroline. Er, old Gus won't forget your kindness, you bet. Take your easy, Gus. I should have talked to the other Hobo in the box car because he might have given me something for defeating the Boom Minotaur. I've been recording for 45 minutes. I shouldn't restart my game. 
I believe the door jangles as you walk into Mario's Antiques. The young woman at the counter looks up as you enter. Oh, hi, you must be Caroline. We don't really get many customers at this time of night, or at all, really. That's me. You're expecting me? Yeah, Mario didn't say much about you, but he gave me the letter to mail. My name is Jessica. Oh, jeez, you're soaking wet. Come on in and I'll get you a towel. You walk over to the counter, trying not to drip on a vintage bric-a-brac, as Jessica grabs a threadbare bath towel from a shelf and pulls the tag off before tossing it to you. Thanks. Is Uncle Murray here? His letter wasn't very specific. He isn't. You said that in kind of an ominous way. Where is he? I wish I knew. He had a line on another artifact and said it was going to be a tough one. I told him he should get some backup, but he wasn't willing to wait. He just wrote that letter and told me to mail it if he didn't come back. Is there something I'm missing here? This is an antique shop, right? You're trying to talk to... You make trying to talk to great aunt Ruthie into selling her mother's dress appeals sounds like a deadly spy mission. Yeah, this is going to take some explaining. Well, I'm definitely intrigued now. Explain away. You don't have a lot of time just now, but follow me and I'll give you a quick sketch. Okay. Jessica leads you to a back room furnished with some desks and some strange looking machinery. Welcome to our back office, the hub of our little operation. I'm guessing by operation you're talking about something other than antiques. Well, yes and no. See, a few years ago, Mari found out that there's a bunch of antiques circulating that are, well, hinky would be a real understatement. Hinky. Mari called them tainted. Dark magic, real bad mojo, you know, cursed. Yeah, I know about that kind of thing. It's no joke. That's what our real job is here. The antique store is just, well, not exactly a front. We find a lot of regular antiques too, and selling them keeps us in scratch. But really, we're trying to hunt down all these evil doodads and neutralize them so no one gets hurt. And Uncle Murray went out to get one and never came back? That's the longest shot of it. Yep. What do you say? Are you in? Uh, absolutely. I am always up for a crazy adventure. Great. You have the shop door opening, and after a moment, a goblin perks ahead into the office. Hello? Oh, that's spell timing. Hey, Gabby. Murray's sister kid strode up. Come to meet her. Come meet her. Hi, Gabby. Pleased to meet you. I like that they have the pronouns. That's that's pretty cool. Oh, hi, hello. The pleasure is all Gabby's. Gabby, would you be a dear and carry her luggage to Mari's room and grab some blankets and stuff out of the cupboard? She can sleep there till we find Mar Mari. You've gotten it. Gabby picks up your suitcase and carries it through a door in the back of the room. Great. I could really use some sleep. But do I get to unpack my trunk? You don't have time to play games right now, doggy. Wait, hang on. A white cat is snoozing on an old towel. Ask Jessica about it. What's the cat's name? Calliope. Mari got her a couple of years ago. Scritch by the cat's ears. You give Calliope a good stretching, but she doesn't react at all. Why doesn't Calliope like me? Eh, she'll warm eventually. Try giving her some sardines. She loves those. Do you have any sardines? No, we're a lot. You can get some more tomorrow. They have them at the Cola Wars Supper store next door. Okay. A modern radio stands here in defiance of the concept of antiques. Cannot even hazard a guess at what this contraption does. Bathroom? You wonder where this door leads? You open the door and there's just a brick wall behind it. Apparently it goes nowhere. There's nobody at this desk. Ask Jessica about it. Charles Wallace, our handyman. He's fixing up a leak on the roof right now, but he'll be back later tonight. I see. Message is none. Nobody I need to call. It's Jessica. Talk to her. Well, I'm going to turn in. Good night. Hang on a sec. You can't go to sleep yet. I'm pretty sure I can. I bet I could do it right here while I'm still standing up. Haha, <laughs> well, I hate to spring this on you, but there's something we need to do before the night's over. Wow, mission already? You know those cursed artifacts I was talking about? Since info on them is so sketchy, we've been working on a machine that can detect them with radio waves. I call it the Detractor Ton 1000. We've just gotten up and running since Mari left, and it turned out there's a tainted thing practically right on our doorstep. Hmm, that doesn't sound good. Yeah, it's not great. I was gonna have Gabby go get it, that's why she came over tonight, but since you turned out about the blue, I guess there's no time like the present. I'm probably not exaggerating when I say there's literally no time except for the present. What? As in, it might not be a future. You won't have far to go. It's just on the other end of the block, if the readings are right. There's a newspaper office there that got shut down earlier this year. It should be in there. Well, Gabby will go with you. She's going in a fight. A fight? Heck yeah. Yeah, well, hopefully you won't come to that, but you never know. Hey, Gabby. Gabby reappears with an expectant grin. Go to the newspaper office with Caroline and help her get that hat, okay? Okay, Gabby is ready for action. Let's mosey. I'll give an excited sigh. Alright, fine. You said it's a hat? A cursed hat? According to the readout, yeah. A men's fedora, probably. And I'm supposed to, what, just break in and take out? Take it? Well, not break, exactly. I managed to finagle the spare key out of the guy at the realtor's office. I'm pretty sure that still counts as breaking and entering. You'll be in and out and back here in bed before you know it. Sweet, let's do this. Aw, Gabby's adorable. Gab with Gabby. How are you holding up, Gabby? It's all of the berries. Chew the fat. So you're a flapper, right? Haha, <laughs> yes. Gabby flaps all of the time. Gabby's parent flapped too, and Grand Gabby. 
But it's still leaving the style for seven or eight years. Oh, right. Goblins, um... Well, you don't live very long, huh? Depends on how you look for it. Parent Gabby popped a year and a half ago, but this Gabby is basically... Basically is that Gabby and previous ones too. Haha, <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry too hard to... Don't worry too hard for to get it. Us goblins think human baby making is super crazy. But becomes a bit more. You're a real firecracker in a fist fight, huh, Gabby? Haha, <laughs> Gabby likes fighting and dancing. The best two things. Gabby invented fight dancing once, but this world was unready for it. Maybe 50 years later. Keep making small talk. Have you lived in Ocean City long, Gabby? Oh yes, all of Gabby's life is here. Gabby's great, great, great grand Gabby came and popped out some blocks from over there. Or to popping, as they would say. Ha ha. Wow, so your family's been here for quite a while, huh? Yes, 14 years. Keep shooting the breeze. You know, Gabby, it's been a few years since I spent some time in Ocean City, but I don't remember it being this run down. This is a true thing to say. It used to be much more clean and shiny. What happened? The economy is terrific everywhere else in the country. No ideas. Economics is not the house Gabby keeps my wheels in. How long can I keep this going? How'd you get mixed up with Murray in the whole antiques ordeal, Gabby? Oh, it coincided. Gabby was looking at old clothes and ho heard over Murray and Jessica talking about a mysterious thing to get. It had an adventure smell. Then Murray said, we're going to need some muscle for this. And Gabby says, Gabby has several muscles, strong ones. And that was what it was. Gabby has been helping since then. Continue chit-chatting. Okay, that's all. We're getting looping dialogue. This desk is a mess. Ask Jessica about it. Whose desk is this? Murray's. I keep nagging him to straighten it up before someone bumps into it and we'll have to call the National Guard to dig them out of the avalanche. With cast proof shovels and a squad of exes is handy. Anyway, bets must rest. Mess with it. Will do. I mean, more. You're not sure what this clock is telling, but it sure isn't time. Jessica, Jessica's not going to let you sleep until you get the hat. Alright, well, i leave it there because this has been 50 minutes and I want woo. Okay, that startled me. Ah. You will encounter any spiders? You will encounter so many spiders. I'm going to turn on arachnophobia. Just because I don't want to see any spiders. Alright, well thank you very much for watching. I hope you had fun. This game is really fun. I'm having a lot of fun so far. Although I'm very disappointed that I didn't go back and talk to the hobo in... The box car but that's all right um i'll probably upload this again next week so if you want to come back for more there will be more and we can continue our adventures with gabby the goblin um thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye